COVID cases are rising again across India. New Delhi reported over 3,000 COVID cases in the last 24 hours. The active case load now stands at over 18,000. The recent spike is attributed to the sub-variant XBB1.16, the new Omicron variant. The World Health Organization is closely monitoring the rise given the evolving nature of this variant. The organization's COVID technical lead says that one of the biggest uncertainties is that the virus is yet to settle into a predictable pattern. This new Omicron variant has been reported from 21 countries. However, the WHO maintains that the reports do not indicate a rise in hospitalizations, ICU admissions or deaths due to this variant so far. But there are still no reported laboratory studies on the markers of disease severity for the XBB 1.16. Thus, one cannot take chances. In addition to this, the WHO is also tracking one variant of interest, the XBB 1.5, and six other variants are being monitored. Meanwhile, if we move to Africa, there are also concerns about the deadly Marburg virus. The WHO says the Marburg virus is an infectious disease that has high fatality rates and even has epidemic potential. It is a rare virus that causes symptoms ranging from fever, chills, muscle pain, sore throat, weakness to unexplained bleeding or bruising. U.S. Center for Disease Control and Prevention has been urging travelers to Guinea and Tanzania to be cautious of contracting this virus. Earlier, the CDC also announced plans to send its National Center for Emerging and Zoonotic Infectious Diseases to respond to the outbreaks. According to the WHO, Equatorial Guinea reported its first outbreak in February, and since then, it has nine cases and an additional 20 probable cases. But the concerning fact is that all of these people succumbed to the virus. Tanzania has also confirmed eight cases of the Marburg virus, out of which five resulted in deaths. The world has lived through the consequences of a deadly virus already and is still suffering. Thus, the cautious path is the way forward now. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.